Oh, hi, Mrs. O'Neill. My husband is in hospital with a detached retina. He is effectively blind in one eye. There isn't a day this past year that I haven't thought about it. I keep going over and over it again, trying to remember everything that um, happened. Would you like to come through? Thank you. Diane, can you call the cab for I have done already. I said 6.15. And what time's the train? 6.40. He was in a bit of a hurry. He said he was off to Manchester and he was worried about missing his train. Please have a seat. Sorry about that. I have to go to Manchester this evening. You were in so much of a rush that you told the patient you had a train to catch. Is that correct? No. You have given evidence that you had flashes and a shadow in the corner of one eye. But that isn't what you told Mr. Whitehead. Yes, it is. It's precisely what I told him. Yeah, my left eye feels a bit odd. It's not as sharp as it was. It feels a bit watery. There's a fuzzy patch like there's something in it. Did Mr. Whitehead ask if you had any other symptoms? No, he didn't. Any headaches? No. You still feeling well? Yeah, fine. told him your vision felt a bit watery and that you had a fuzzy feeling. You said nothing else because there were no other symptoms. No, that's not right. That's not what I said. Did you dilate Mr O'Neill's pupil? If he had those symptoms, I would have dilated him. But he didn't give me those symptoms and there was nothing to put me on notice to dilate him. I had a good look at my ophthalmoscope and I saw no evidence of abnormality. Your examination was inadequate, Mr Whitehead. Will this experience change the way you work? Yes, of course. I mean, it, it already has. Um, I'm far more meticulous with my record keeping, and I think we err on the side of caution. And I'm certainly making more referrals than I used to. Sorry to interrupt. Martin, they're ready for you. Uh, excuse me, I... <clears throat> I've got to go.